Hi, I'm Joel Sieber, and we are going to do a tapping on stress over losing a job during COVID. And when I do this, I'm going to do it like from the perspective where I lost my job. So if, if it's not you who's lost a job, but someone in your family, feel free to replace the verbiage like my spouse or, you know, whomever it is in your family who lost a job. Just replace it, okay? So we'll start with the karate chop. I don't know what I'm going to do. I am freaking out because I don't know what I'm going to do. I lost my job. I'm not working anymore. What are we going to do? I am so stressed right now. I can't even think straight. I lost my job. I have no money coming in. What am I going to do? I am so scared. I have bills. You need money to have a place to live. You need money for food. I lost my job. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm scared. I don't know how this is going to work out. I don't know what I'm going to do. I feel nauseous. And nobody's hiring right now. It's not like I can go get a job. Everyone's losing their jobs. I don't know what I'm going to do. And I'm stressing out. People depend on me. People depend on me. I can't take care of the people I love. Everyone is counting on me. And now I have no money coming in. I don't know what I'm going to do. This is terrifying. You need money to survive. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't see any possibility. I have no idea how to make this better. This is a terrible place to be. This is a terrible position to be in. It's not fair. I am so scared. I am so scared. I am so scared. There's nothing I can do right now in this moment to fix the situation. I have no idea how I'm going to fix this. I have no idea what I'm going to do. For right now, just going to acknowledge that I'm freaking out. That this is a really crap situation. And I feel like I'm pretty screwed right now. This is awful. And I'm going to honor this feeling in my body. Because awful things have happened. So of course I feel awful. 
This is a huge burden. This is a huge burden. I have so much going on right now. I see no way out. It feels like my world is crumbling. My world fell apart. And I don't know how to fix it. I can't make this feeling go away. I wish I could, but I can't change what happened. So I'm going to honor this feeling in my body. I'm going to acknowledge myself for being able to carry such a burden and not completely fall apart. And even though I feel awful, I'm also going to acknowledge that I'm a strong person. Even though I don't see a way out, I choose to hope that something's going to happen. Something, something will happen. And I'm not going to get kicked out on the street. I'm not going to lose my home. Some way, We'll have enough food to eat. I don't know how. I can't feel positive right now. No, it's okay. Right now, all I have to do is notice how I'm feeling. And by noticing it, by breathing on it. I can get to the point where it's not consuming me and where I'm able to think a little more clearly. Where I'm able to see better. For right now, all I have to do is feel. I choose to feel. I choose to breathe. I choose to feel. I choose to breathe. Because as I feel and as I breathe, I am able to see more clearly. I am able to function better. I choose to breathe. I choose to take this one step at a time, one moment at a time. Even though I'm scared, even though my world has crumbled apart, I honor myself for being so strong, carrying this huge burden, this huge burden that I really didn't need right now. I am strong and I choose to breathe. I choose to breathe. I choose to breathe. And I will be able to see more clearly. Take a deep breath in. And let it out. Take a deep breath in. And let it out. And stop tapping. Keep breathing. 
close your eyes. Inhale in bright white light into the top of your head. And as you exhale, wash it down your body into the earth. Take a deep breath in. One more white light into the top of your head and release. One more deep breath in and let it out. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Losing your job is awful. Losing your job uh, is scary. You know, we need money. So you might need to tap on this a lot. So the goal here isn't to jump up into feeling positive and happy and I can do it. You know, no, that's not, that's, that's way too much. The goal is to take one little step up. So instead of feeling like constricted and your world is crumbling and you can't even think straight or function. We want to get to the place where you can breathe a little deeper, feel a tiny bit more calm and be able to think more clearly because when that happens, we are able to see more opportunities, right? The, the goal for this is not to be Pollyanna, but this is not a Pollyanna situation. The goal is to Create some space for your body and your brain to figure out what's next, okay? So if you would like some more resources for tapping at home, I've created a download because um, a lot of times folks aren't sure what to say. Uh, so I created a, a download with a bunch of prompts for different topics you can tap on to relieve stress, and it's in the link below. And until then, uh, I hope you, I hope you're doing okay. And drop me a note if, if you have any other topics or feelings or, you know, if you need some help, because I feel you. <laughs>